You don't need to know much about crypto to know that it's been seeing some crazy gains over the past couple of years, and more especially in recent months, with coins such as Dogecoin going up by over 1,000 times in a relatively short period. So if somebody were to come up to you right now and say, hey, I've got intel on the next big coin on the market, even if that person had no real credentials behind them, you just might be tempted enough to buy into whatever coin they're peddling and hoping for the best. Let's find out why that isn't a good idea. Today, we're going to be looking at how Wall Street Bets users got scammed out of over $2 million. I want to repeat the opening line of this video again to drive a point. You don't need to know much about crypto to know that it's been seeing some crazy gains over the past couple of years. And that's where the problem lies. Although cryptocurrencies have been around for years, it's still a relatively new concept, and most people generally have no idea what it really is or how it functions. However, with the rapid increase in prices, as well as millions of people losing their jobs over the past year, it's not hard to see how desperation can drive people to blindly invest in whatever is trending, in hopes of escaping financial distress. The mods of the Wall Street Bet subreddit have been working around the clock to try and curb scammers away from the forum, but they couldn't prevent thousands of Wall Street Bets users from being lured into a Telegram group by a Telegram user called Wall Street Bets Crypto Pumps. CryptoPumps offered people the opportunity to get in early on a new token called Wall Street Bets Finance Coin, which was primed to take the market by storm. Now, in case you didn't know, getting in on a coin before it hits the crypto exchanges can pay pretty big dividends. Just to give you some perspective, the new token, which took the market by storm recently, Refinable, backed by trading platform Binance and Mr. Beast himself, skyrocketed from an ICO price of 0.033 cents to $8.36 in just a matter of hours. That's a 253 time increase, which in percentages is about 25,233%. A simple investment of $10,000 would have netted you over $2.53 million. That's enough to retire on. Well, almost. So keeping that in mind, if you did have a chance of getting in early on the next coin that was about to be hyped into the stratosphere, why wouldn't you take it? The instructions were as follows. Send BNB or Ether to CryptoPump's cryptocurrency wallet. After that, all that's left is to contact their token bot on Telegram to receive the WSB finance coins you just purchased. Easy enough, right? Well, that's exactly what lots of users did, and it wasn't long before BNB and Ether began flowing into CryptoPump's wallet. However, shortly after some of the initial payments came in, CryptoPump had claimed that their bot was malfunctioning and told those who had sent money already that they would have to send an equal amount again or they would lose their initial investment. Now, why this particular situation is so messed up is because if you really did put in $10,000 like from our previous example, you'd probably be in a state of panic thinking that your initial investment was about to disappear and just might be paranoid enough to put in another $10,000 from your life savings, retirement account, or possibly even a loan. Unfortunately, as no such coin exists, the users who bought into WSB Finance Coin ended up getting nothing. CryptoPump, on the other hand, made off with 3,451 BNB coins, according to reports by BSC Scan, which was about $2.1 million at the time of reporting. Realistically, the amount they made off with could be substantially more, as the original report only accounted for the BNB coins that CryptoPump had received, and not the Ether. To add salt to the wounds, CryptoPump returned to the message board to taunt those who had sent the crypto coins to their wallet, mocking them with the infamous South Park quote, The accounts with compounding interest and it's gone. Uh, what? Comical for some and traumatizing for others, the cynical series of remarks was closed off with the following line, Buying Lambo now. How nice of the fraudster to let their victims know how their ill-gotten gains were going to be spent. CryptoPump's account has since been deleted from Telegram, which most likely means that even if a thorough investigation is conducted, CryptoPump will most likely get away with it, as crypto scammers usually do. And that is the bittersweet nature of cryptocurrencies in a nutshell. It has its advantages, such as being decentralized, so you can deal directly with your peers without banks or the government interfering with your personal finances. On the other hand, a glaring disadvantage is that because the banks and government can't interfere, in cases such as this, the criminals will almost always get away scot-free, due to little to no regulations in the crypto space. So, let this serve as a warning to new retail investors and traders. Always do your due diligence before investing or buying into any assets. 
As exciting as it is to buy into the hype train, always remember that safer investments may not be as exciting and volatile as the riskier options, no pun intended. But you'll definitely sleep better at night knowing that your money is safely stored away in, well, somewhat safer assets. For more big brain content, be sure to subscribe.